YouTube user Zeke the Antique Freak here to solve some of the uh, timing issues on a VE4 or a VF4 Wisconsin. This is from the, it's over 70 years old, it's from the late 40s this engine. It's hooked to a GE welder and uh, so I had taken the mag off last fall, of course never got back to it, I went to put it back on now. Now the timing procedure I've got all, I've got it marked on the inside the cover here, it'll hide those marks. So to start with, to put the mag back on, you put this uh, DC mark to the line up top here. This is after checking that you are on top dead center compression, so you'd remove the spark plug, turn it over from about this position here so you can feel the air come out number one, and you know you're in the right spot. So anyway, that's all well and fine. On the magneto, you will find um, an X on one of the teeth. I have uh, highlighted it in yellow. And this mag only does the VH, or sorry, the VE and the VF models. It is a straight through one, so it turns at engine speed, and it is a waste spark magneto where it uh, not only fires at top dead center compression, it fires at top dead center exhaust too. It gives it a faster spin for a stronger spark. So now the uh, there's an inspection hole on the housing that this bolts to. There's a, a about a three eighths pipe thread bung with a flat, and uh, when you have this at the top and you've got number one identified, then you would take this gear with the X and uh, make sure that it appears in the bottom half of, the, of that inspection hole. Then you know that you got the mag time properly. This will give you a, uh, if you watch, this is TDC number one. Number one cylinder is on the left hand side at the, at the front. Number three is behind it. Number two at the front on the right hand side and number four is uh, behind that one. So if we uh, bring this back from the timing mark now, so if, if I was to take that bung out, the mag that's in here would show that uh, highlighted tooth with the X on it. There's also an X on this vein here. So if we bring it back and reset the impulse on the mag, you'll see that it will trip very close to, uh, to the TDC one and three is right there. There, so we got that right. This mark here is TDC 2 and 4. This is a, what they call an odd fire or an uneven fire engine. So the, uh, uh, it's, it's just a little different, <laughs> to say the least. When it comes to the spark plugs, because this thing turns at engine speed, it's not, uh, not what you would expect for the wiring order. The actual firing order is 1, 3, 4, 2. You put the wire order 1, 4, 3, 2. And that's because of the waste spark and because this uh, mag turns at, uh, at engine speed. Anyway, that's about all there is to it. So now I've got these marked here. The rotation is this way. Number one terminal is there. And then so you've got one, four, three, and two is, is the firing order. And it's, uh, it's running well with that there. When it comes to the H... H and possibly G, but certainly the the H magneto. Same thing. Uh, now you can see that this is a half speed magneto. It uh, only fires at top dead center compression. It doesn't waste a spark at uh, at the exhaust strokes. Again, I think you'll be able to see the uh, yellow mark and the X. Same process for setting it in. You would uh, look in the inspection hole, have this up at top of mag, number one compression, but that's only for the for the H, uh, which is a different animal altogether. It's an even fire engine and uh, whereas this is an odd or uneven fire engine. So there you go. If you've got uh, a mag that looks like this, chances are it's the right one for the E and the F. If it looks like that, it's uh, for an H. This is direct drive through. Anyway, that's about that for that. Zeke the Antique Freak, YouTube user, over and out.